Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of web development with a comprehensive tutorial on installing WordPress with NGINX on Ubuntu 22.04 and 24.04. .04. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, stick around as we walk you through each step. First things first, let's ensure our Ubuntu system is up to date by running sudo apt update followed by sudo apt upgrade. With our system updated, the next step is to install Nginx execute sudo apt install Nginx to get Nginx up and running. After installation, the Nginx service automatically loads and starts. You can check the status by running this command. With Nginx installed, it's time to install and set up my SQL. Execute the following command to install my SQL. Log into the MySQL interactive session by running this command. Create a database you can name it whatever you want. Let us now create a database user. Zach is the username. Replace the password with a strong password of your own. Next, grant privileges to the user to access and modify the database. Now, refresh the privileges for all users by running this command. Next, run this command to secure the MySQL installation. We need to now configure Nginx to work with PHP. We'll do this by installing PHP and the necessary PHP extensions using this command. PHP FPM, or Fast CGI Process Manager, operates independently from servers, efficiently managing PHP processes and handling current requests to improve website performance. It's essential to verify the PHP FPM version, as this information is necessary to include in the Nginx server block file. Great! With Nginx, PHP, and MySQL set up, it's time to download and install WordPress. It will be downloaded in the current working directory. Extract the downloaded file using unzip. If unzip is not installed on your system like mine, please install it.
After unzipping it will create a folder WordPress in the current working directory. Move the content of WordPress folder to the web server's root directory. Next provide the required permission to the www data user and group. The www data is a system user that handles web server requests. After that change the directory. Make sure to remove the default Nginx HTML files. One has already been removed. Next, rename the wp-config-sample.php file and save it with the name wp-config.php in the same directory. Run this command to open the wp-config.php file and provide the database name, user, and password. Save the file when done. Access the default Nginx server block file to enable WordPress accessibility from the browser. To initiate the process, start by clearing out any existing content within the file and then add the following lines. Ensure to replace your domain.com and www.yourdomain.com in the Nginx server block file with a domain of your own pointing to your IP address of your server. Plus the PHP FPM version should be the same as the one installed during the PHP installation. Verify whether the configuration settings are correct by running this command. Remove the default symbolic link found in the site's enabled directory using this command. To access WordPress from your browser, create a symbolic link for the default server block from the site's available directory to the site's enabled directory using this command. To apply the changes run this command. Finally, complete the WordPress installation through the web interface. Open your web browser and navigate to your domain name or IP address. If you do not have a domain name you can purchase a cheap domain from Namecheap. The link is in the description. I think I entered the wrong password for the database in the config file. You must enter the correct password and username you created in my SQL. This is the correct database name I created earlier in my SQL. And this is the correct password for the user Zach I created earlier. Let me reload Nginx and try to access WordPress again. You should see the WordPress setup page. Select your language and click continue. Fill in the required details in the provided fields. Once you've done that, Click the Install WordPress button to begin the installation process on your website.
And that's it. If successfully installed WordPress with NGINX on Ubuntu 24.04, you can now log into your WordPress dashboard and start customizing your site. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.